I have a question for you. Have you ever thought about the world and where we are heading? Well, I have, but let's try it a different way. Have you ever thought about the impending doom of our world? <clears throat> well, me too. And if you are trying to make the world even worse for your children, you've come to the right place. Look here. Our world is already riddled with pollution, like China. If you didn't know, 1.6 million people die every year because of mass air pollution in China. You know they're doing it right. I'm trying to achieve what we call an ecocide. To do this, we will need to increase the average world temperature by about 3 degrees. This will destroy the Great Barrier Reef, the Murray-Darling Basin, and will also increase the risk of bushfires three times or more. And best of all, it will also double the death toll. Wonderful! We will turn our world from this to this. What else could you want? So what can we do to reach full ecocide potential? We need to pollute with all our might. Come to my other board and I'll show you three phases which you can do at home to help our journey to full ecocide. Firstly, electricity is key. Use as much electricity as possible. Watch TV as much as you can. When you get home, while you're eating breakfast, lunch and dinner, even just watching Netflix on your phone can help us. The average person spends about 20 hours a week on their phone, which means that you are using 2.2 kilograms of coal on your phone in just a year, which is really good if we want your future children to die. Keeping the lights on is another good way to use your electricity. Even better, flick them on and off in your spare time to use as much power as possible. This is a sure way to speed up the world's destruction. 2. Drive it, don't buzz it. You should make your parents drive you everywhere you go instead of catching public transport. This is because when you take the bus, you split up your carbon emissions per capita, making it far less for each person. Plus, who wants to sit on a dirty bus with a whole bunch of sweaty, stinky people? I know I don't. 3. Throw away food. Throwing away as much food as possible is also a great way to destroy the planet. Fruit, vegetable, and other food, when it is throw thrown out, goes straight into landfill. They begin to decompose, which produces methane. A lot of methane. Thank you for watching this video on how to destroy the world. It would mean a lot to me if you and anyone else could come together and help us fight this terrible thing. A lack of pollution. So follow these tips and help us ruin the planet.